Hi Beauty Caterpillars and today we are doing a June empties. I got a lot of empties for June. So let's get into it in no particular order. We're just randomly pulling things out like usual. So I finished up the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution with a pH of 3.6. So I used this up just last night and I really love this stuff. It's a really nice um, glycolic acid toner. I have a review of the Ordinary, Ordinary and I will link it down below. I didn't do everything and um, but I really like it and I have ordered another bottle of this so this stuff is really nice. It's a cheaper option than like the Pixie um, glow tonic stuff. It's cheaper and it's um, you get more for it and it's just like 2% more um, glycolic acid but I really like that stuff. I used up the Garnier Skin Active Micella Water 2-in-1 Waterproof um, Makeup remover. I have a review of this. I can link that down below as well. This stuff is amazing. I repurchase it over and over and over again. I love it. It's great for taking off my makeup. It works wonders. I love this stuff. I have a backup. I bought many of these things. I have a backup. I'm using it right now. That's how much I love it. I also used up this Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Micella Cleanser Water. This stuff smelled a little funny to me, but if you can get over the scent, it's really nice. I also have a review of this, and I will link it down below. I'll just have, like, if I have reviews of things, I'll just link them down below, so maybe I don't have to keep saying it. So check the description box if you want to know about any of these things. Um, but this was a really nice, like, Marcella Water... It's a good sized bottle, it uh, cleaned my skin really well, took off makeup nicely. I don't know about waterproof makeup, it does say it removes waterproof makeup, but I never actually tried it on waterproof makeup, because um, I don't really have a lot too much waterproof makeup, but it was really nice. Marcella water to clean my skin and stuff. Really good job. I used up this St. Ives Rich and Creamy Vanilla Body Wash. This stuff smelled amazing. These St. Ives bottles are really good. They're a 709 milliliter bottle. And you can find them for like 2 to $3 when they're on sale. They are really nice. I love the scent of vanilla. Except the only thing, once I go through a big bottle of this, I'm like, I'm sick of the scent. Not that I'm sick of vanilla. But like, I like to switch up my body washes up fairly regularly. So this takes me like a really long time to use it. Which is nice and good. But I kind of get like a little tired of the scent. Not that I could ever get tired of the scent of vanilla. But, you know. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating PM Cream. Um, this stuff was, it's by the Hibitic. Herbit the Herbinaria? I don't know how to say this. The Herbinaria. Botanical Based Skincare. This stuff was okay. I kind of use it more as a hand cream than a face moisturizer, if I'm going to be honest. It was like a liquid, it was kind of like a gel cream mixed together. It was kind of more like, it felt a bit more watery than like a normal cream, but it wasn't like a full gel either. Um... And when I put this on with my other products, it would burn my face and I would only use like the hyaluronic acid by the same brand. So you'd think that they'd be okay to like work together since they're from the same brand, but it would burn my face. So I just use this as a hand moisturizer. It was okay. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase it again. So yeah. Kind of a little disappointed in that one. I thought it was going to be really good. I used up the Kiehl's Caudalie Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I got this in my um, Kiehl's Advent Calendar. And I don't like foaming face washes, so I use this in my travel bag and I use it up. It was okay. Um, it did leave my skin feeling a little bit dry and stripped because it does have drying alcohols in it and it's a foam and I just don't like foams. But it was okay. Um, so if you're looking for a foam cleansing wash, it's nice. It's, it says normal to oily skin type. So yeah, maybe check it out. I just wasn't a huge fan of it because I don't like foaming face washes. And my face felt a little dry afterwards. I used up this sample of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It says for face and body. Um, it says mild soap-free formula. I did not really like this. It was an okay cleanser, but not my favorite. I don't think I would go out and buy the full size of it by any means. It was okay. I used up the Skin Labs Treatment Syrup Lift and Firm Collagen and Elastin. Um, hydrating Collagen and Elastin to Hydrate and Firm and tone. It was a nice um, 
serum. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it just because it was a bit more on the expensive side of things and I have better serums that I like that are cheaper. So I'm going to go with them. But it was nice. I used up some Fluffs cotton pads. These are the giant ones. I get these ones from the dollar store. I use them to take off my eye makeup and tone my skin in the morning. <coughs> I used up the Wet n Wild Natural finish setting spray. This is like my favorite setting spray of all time. I love this stuff. The spritzer on it is really nice. And I used that up. I finally used up this L'Oreal Hydrogenous Oily Skin um, Face Moisturizer. I hate this stuff. It um, does not work well on my skin. It makes it feel very greasy. And um, I just did not like it, so I ended up using it pretty much as a hand moisturizer. Um, halfway through the bottle, that's how I was able to finish it so quickly because I just did not like it. It did not work well under makeup. Um, so, yeah, not a huge fan of that product. I used up the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oats. I have a review of this. I will link it down below. Um, this stuff is amazing. I have repurchased it. I love it. It's a really great hydrating mist. Um, really nice. I love the spritz around this thing. It's really nice. I keep saying it's really nice, um, but I do really like that. I used up my Glam Glow Power Cleanse Daily Duo Cleanser, which has got the oil and the uh, foam. And I really like this stuff. It smells really nice. Um, I was sad to see it go. I think if I saw it again in winners, I might pick it up. It was really, really nice. I do have a review, so I'll link that down below as well. Um, I never used the combination mud to foam together. I would use the oil to take off my makeup, and then I would use the mud to like to be as a second cleanse. So I really liked that it kind of had a two-in-one. It smelled amazing. I love the smell of this stuff. And I don't think it has dry alcohols in it either, so I really like this. And I would definitely pick it up if I saw it in winners again, because in Sephora it's like $34 or something, like $35. And in winners it's like 20 bucks. so... Yeah, it's a little cheaper in winters. I used up this Life Brand Nourishing Face Mask Strawberry and Yogurt. This stuff is really a nice uh, face mask for like hydrating and stuff. It feels super nice. It's pink. It kind of feels almost like you're putting like yogurt on your face. But um, really nice, really hydrating. I love this stuff. So if you're in the market for a hydrating mask, check this one out from Shoppers. Hi, um, used up my EOS lip balm. Actually, what happened is the bottom is stuck, like the um, cap and like the everything is like stuck in the bottom there, so I can't actually get it out. So I'm just getting rid of it, which is really sad because I really like the scent of it. But it's all like smushed and melted up in here, so yeah, unfortunately, that's what happened to that. It was like a vanilla bean, loved it. I have repurchased the scent, I really like the EOS lip balms, like especially the ones that they came out in like these kind of tubes instead of the egg shape. I like the egg shape ones too, but these are just a little easier to carry in my purse. All right, the battery died, so the angle changed. I apologize for that reason. So, um, I finished up the cover dots, um, where did that go? Oh, it's right here. The, um, cover dots acne clear, clear abrasive dots with hydrochloride. These are drug free. They're from Smart Med. They're 12 dots. They came in a little package like this, um, like a little flap like that. So I used those all up. These are really nice for, um, those big zits that you get and that like if you're a picker like me I'll like put them on and then I won't like pick it and I'll like put them on at night and I wake up in the morning especially if it's like a white head that keeps like reappearing I put it on and it'll like drain all like the white pus stuff out of it and it's like really satisfying and then I don't pick my zits or like those ones that are like under the skin bumps that don't actually form a head I put those on there so I don't pick them and then in the morning like it's usually pretty good or almost gone which I like so yeah I used up the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I got a little sample of this when I bought my um, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Like, they came in with, like, a little sample of four, so I used up this one, the original one. It was nice. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy the... Uh, what is it called? Potion Primer, because I have other primers that work just as well for a lot cheaper. So, yeah. Plus I have a ton of samples left to go through my shadow primers. I used up my beauty sponge. My beauty blender sponge. It's not actually a beauty blender. 
It's like a cheap $2 one from the dollar store, but I use this one up. It's going in the garbage. It's got like a lot of holes and it's dirty and it smells and I've washed it and it still smells. So I'm just getting rid of it because it's pretty old. And then the rest of these, oh wait, no. Oh no, never mind. The rest of these things I am depotting. Like I'm getting rid of them. I just don't like the color anymore. I just don't wear it. So I'm just getting rid of them. The one is the e.l.f. Um, dash of pink. I just find when I put this on my lips, I just don't like it, but I'm like really drawn to these colors of pink, but they just don't look good on me, but I love them and I keep buying them, but I just don't like them when I put them on my lips. Same with the Wet n Wild um, Pink Really Hard in Liquid Catsuit. These ones are really nice, but again, I get these like bright pink colors and I just don't like them on my lips. I just never pick them out, so I'm like, why do I keep them? This is an NYC um, color in Blue Rose, and I have a liquid lipstick in like a very similar color that I like better, and another lipstick that I like better in this color, so I'm depotting that one. There it is in Blue Rose. Um, my friend gave this one to me, and I've just noticed I haven't worn it, so I'm just decluttering it. Um, this is Pink Champagne by Wet n Wild. It's really pretty, but I just never wear it. And I would keep it and like put it on my eyes as like or an eyeshadow, like a liquid um, highlight. But I don't like this color highlight on me. I like um, more of an icy white highlight for my skin. And I'm getting rid of this um, Milani Rose Femi color as well. I just found I didn't wear it. Or I had colors very similar that I liked better. Plus, um, so yeah. Same with this color, the Milani Color Joint um, 05 Strip Down. I just, I wore it the other day and I was just like, I don't like this on my lips. Like, it doesn't look good on me. So, there's that. I just got, I'm depotting it. Because I'm like, I need to get rid of my lipsticks. Because I have so many and I'm like, I'm not wearing any, like half of these. So, I need to go through and pick out the ones that I do wear and get rid of the ones I don't. So, I'm decluttering them. And that is everything for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Just realized I had this in there. It's my Wet n Wild um, Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Think Flamingos. I finally finished this off. This was in my Project 20 Pan Roulette. Um, again, it was like a really pretty bright pink color, but I don't like wearing it. And I basically bought it because the name said Think Flamingos, and I think I love flamingos. I think they're really cool. So.